stopping the three and stopping you, and you still had 21 points. What was working for you tonight? Um, just, you know, finding the open spots. I mean, at the start of the game, um, you know, their face guarding not letting me, you know, come kind of running me off the three. So um, when they, you know, do that, it's, it's easier for, you know, other guys to get open, and that's what we did. KJ, the last, the bucket you scored, the game winner. What was the plan going into that plan? What did you see? It was basically to uh, give J. Will a, a chance to um, post up right there, but they, they kind of slipped the post in the middle, so I was wide open and just uh, drove it to cause a foul, but they didn't call it, but I made the shot. And uh, what's it, J. Will, what's it like having a weapon like Grady? I mean, a guy that you know, when, when maybe they're, the tides maybe turn a little bit, you can get him the shot, and it just all changes. Uh, it's great, you know, uh, especially when when we're getting downhill and you know it may seem like we don't have anywhere else to go. You know, he sometimes just he somehow just finds a way to get open, get a shot up, and uh, it's so quick and, and the shot is so hard that you know you're not gonna block it. And you know we're confident him shooting any of those shots, and he did some big ones today. Jalen, every shot seemed big that whole second half, yeah. uh, especially you get the shot blocked and then it kind of rolling around, you pick it up and throw it up immediately. Were you aware of the shot clock there and, and what's your mindset there? Yeah, I didn't, uh, obviously didn't want to get a turnover uh, with the shot clock going down and I just, you know, somehow the ball just rolled in my hands and I was like, let me just get it up real quick and you know, went in, so good play. How, how much, we might have asked you this the last two or three games in a row, but for all of you, how much do you enjoy games like these? I mean, it, come down to the last play, Coach TJ was just sitting here talking about they made one more play than we did. That was the difference. Is it fun to play in those games? Are they are they exhausting? I mean, it's it's fun to play in, a, in these big time games because the conference is so so hard. But um, coach coach already tells us every day that it's just going to be a battle. So we kind of expect it going into these games that it's going to be one of those last possession games and it's going to be a war every time. Yeah, like I just said, I mean, these are uh, we look you know forward to these games where it goes down to one possession and. And that's what you know. The great thing about the Big Twelve is, with no, not some one single team is, you know, an easy win. So when it comes down to it, um, we have to have you know guys step up. And um, I think this um, one was you know even more sweet when kind of have a little distractions around with the 125 uh, reunion. But you know when we can you know pull out a good win like that and then go celebrate that, it just makes everything great. Uh, yeah, we just continue to get prepared for games. Um, you know, down the line, this won't be the last close game and. Uh, you know, I think it just reflects on, you know, how well we'll be able to play when we get to those games where it's, you know, what I go home, you know, in those uh, postseason games. So I feel like we're just getting more and more prepared for that. Greg, you mentioned that their plan was to run you off the three-point line. Well, what changed then, or what did you do differently that allowed you to get you know, five made threes? Um, just, you know, moving off the ball. Um, that's what our coach has been preaching the whole time. Is, um, the past teams that have been, you know, face guarding, just moving around and then, you know, finding the mismatches when we can. and. You know, when we can kind of suck in the D. I was, but, uh, and then moving around, you know, uh, get the ball back and, you know, hit a three-pointer. And obviously on Tuesday, that's something Oklahoma did a lot. How much focus was put on your off-ball movement with coaches this week? Yeah, well, it was It was a lot of, you know, kind of a lot of conditioning. <laughs> I got to stop, bro. But, uh, yeah, no, uh, practice leading up to it was definitely, you know, you know, tough ones, but, you know, it prepared us and, uh, that's why we do it. <coughs> KJ, the other night you talked about your confidence level, and I recognize that each game is its own entity. But how much of that carried over to today's game? Um, yeah, a lot of the a lot of the uh, game plan is just uh, hitting the short roll, and they hedge really hard, so it was kind of hard for Juan to get me the ball in those short roll areas. But um, yeah, definitely confidence. I know I can miss a couple of shots, and they won't be too upset. So just. To be able to have that freedom helps a lot. KJ, can you talk a little bit about your passing ability today? I mean, showcase the ability to kind of you know create as a secondary creator a lot. Mm -hmm. um, I knew that since if we if we got it in the short roll, that there were going to be a, a person waiting in the middle, so that that allowed a lot of drop offs and kick up threes for like Jalen and Kevin. Was that kind of the, the game plan coming in? <clears throat> Not necessarily. Um, we just. Uh, with the short roll, I have a lot of options, so whatever works that night, we're just going to do it. KJ, uh, on that last time out before the play that drew up for, for Jalen, did, did they say anything about, hey, if they play it like this, it might you might be the second option, or did it just kind of play out? It just kind of played out because um, Coach knows that Juan's going to make the right play, so um, 
good coach trusts him, and he made the right play. And um, uh, thankfully, I made the shot. All right, for the for your other two, are you are you getting to the point? You know, early in the year, KJ was taking layups and dunks, right? Like he wasn't trying to shoot shots over people very often. Um, how confident are you guys getting in, in his ability to make plays like he made on that final one? I mean, I said extremely confident. I mean, it's not like you know he's just starting that. We've seen this you know through the summer and you know through every single practice, so it doesn't come to a surprise to us. And you know, it's just something we need as a team. And um, yeah, extremely confident that he'll bring that every game. Jalen, KJ, uh, that last play where Grill took the three, can you go through the whole play and what about the defense and the play? Uh, you know, he hit a tough shot and it's late in the game. So, you know, we know that he was going to have to force up something and we kind of were all just scrambling. And, uh, you know, he ended up, you know, running around and, and finding a good look. And, you know, well, next time we'll have to step up. But, you know, it's kind of just hat, hat off to him, you know, for being able to hit a tough shot like that. No, the one he missed at the end. Grill. The last play of the oh, game. Oh, that was just, say the you know, just a, we were, we were uh, in switching five, you know, not trying to give him any good looks. And, uh, you know, didn't want him to get into the paint. And uh, he took a contested three, really. KJ, was that good D on that play? The last play of the game. I feel like it was a good D. Um, we played a lot of good D the whole game, so I'm, I'm glad we got that stop. Any else for players? Yeah. Um, Brady, you know, your mom went to Iowa State. What, what was the family group chat like this week? I mean, no, it was a bunch of, you know, memes going back and forth with our family members. Um, uh, it's not as big as, you know, you think, because, you know, no offense, my mom it was way back then. So, um, you know, she has all that stuff in the house. So every time, you know, when I get back there, I kind of walk around, you know, shade it off. But, I mean, it was a good one to you know, kind of rub it in her face. <laughs> hey, Jalen, real quick, I know obviously you guys take one game at a time. Um, K State up next. Um, I don't know if you guys, I know you guys are getting ready for this game, but do you follow them today? Do you, um, you know, see what's going on? What do you think about, about what's coming up in the environment you're going to be faced with on Tuesday night? Uh, it's going to be a great environment, just as uh, it always is. You know, they're going to be super pumped to the first of all play us, but, you know, they're having a really good season this year. Um, I know they just took a tough loss, so they're definitely going to be uh, amped to play, you know, trying to get that off their shoulders. And it's going to be a heated environment. You know, they're going to be hostile as usual, um, all the chants and stuff like that. But we just got to stay focused. Uh, luckily, we had a game at Mizzou, so we, we have, you know, preparation for a game like that. And just go in and play our basketball. Thanks, guys.